how does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? Ah, <laughs> I don't know. How does it feel to be the same gender as someone I disagree with? I don't know. How does it feel to be the same gender as Morgan Gaetzer and Anissa Rear? You know, the Slenderman murderers. Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate Personally, I don't know what the fuck that is. And even if I did know what it was, I'd probably hate it and not just because I would feel I'd have to hate it. I think I would have legitimate reason. Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. Beyonce can go fuck herself. And not everybody knows The, no uh, knows the Notebook. Not everybody likes The Notebook. I know a few women who don't like The Notebook. Okay. It's just a fact. Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs for hours? No. No one I know or know of talks about boobs for hours. Heck, it only goes as far as, damn, that girl has some nice tits, and that's the end of it. And as far as women talk about men in movies, we don't make women talk about men. They do so by choice. And what genre do women constantly talk about men? Or even vaguely mention men? Romance! Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? Who does that? Just assumes they won't like a piece of media because I have a female lead. I can list a couple of video games off the top of my head that have a really great female lead. Shantae and Bayonetta. Why are you surprised when women are funny? I'm probably funnier than you. You're probably not funny at all. Because, get this, women aren't naturally unfunny just like men aren't naturally funny. It's nothing more than a personali personality trait. trait. Sorry, I can't talk. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. The um, quote-unquote funny one has shit to do. Yay. Congratulations. You have stuff to do. Here's a golf club. Have a cookie. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? You can't do anything in this world without being judged. Get the fuck over it. When men do it, they're congratulated. Why who does that? Okay. Who congratulates men for sleeping with other sluts? Sluts themselves? Like, congratulations! 60 sluts in one year! Yay! Nobody does that. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? That speaks for itself. You're, uh, you definitely are a slut if you um, sleep with a guy on the first date. Probably because you slept, slept with other men. Like... 15, 15 other men, that may be an exaggeration, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Also, like, you really think that men want women to sleep with them after, like, three dates? Not even I want that. If anything, I would want to wait until after marriage before um, my girl sleeps with me. Oh my god, ready to tell marriage? What a foreign concept! In what world does no mean yes? No means no. And here comes inevitable rape. Why am I not surprised? It's as if in your mind, all men think no means yes. Let's go rape some bitches. Why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders? Then justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves. In what world is that catcalling? Men just can't control themselves. Fun fact, many men do have plenty of self-control. And as to the um, emo emotional thing to be leaders, guess what? 
if you're relying on <clears throat> your emotions or you pour in your feelings and political decisions, that is not a good leader make. And on top of that, leadership is a masculine trait. Why do you think that just because you're nice to me, I owe you my body? Nice guy syndrome. Embarrassing, isn't it? Why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic? Mm, not all guys do that. I'm sorry to break it to you. I'm sorry to destroy your narrative, but yeah. Not all guys do that. I don't even do that, nor have I, nor have I done that at all. Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women or make offensive comments about women, but... Name one. When somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay. How Gee, maybe it's because as a brother, we're protective over our sister because... <gasps> They are family! How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm- It feels good to interrupt you, actually. Why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? Men have balls. That's really easy. I get that you have balls, but- No buts. Balls. Like, it's literally in between their legs. Men sit with their legs compressed together. What the fuck happens? Ow! You get my point? I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. That's because your boobs aren't in between your arm and you're just... You see what I'm saying? Like, if that were the case, then yes, you'd have to have your arms wide open. But you're comparing something that's on your chest and in front to something that's in between men's legs. This is a shit comparison and you know it. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex? That's because you are. Biologically, men are stronger. In the upper body. Even though we literally birth you. Like watermelons through like this. Why? Congratulations, you're get better at giving birth. Golf clap. What, what the fuck does that have to do with the upper body strength? It's so bad to show your emotions. It means you're human. Why do you automatically just assume that men don't show their emotions? Why are you always trying to prove your masculinity? Why should we feel the need to do that? There's, okay, when it comes to masculinity, it's not something that needs to be proved. Why the, f Why the f isn't it ladylike to cuss? <laughs> do you not see the irony here? Okay. I get the message that you're trying to spread, but it's ruined by the fact that you censored it out. And no, gender is irrelevant here. Whether it's ladylike or not ladylike, completely irrelevant. It's just not polite to do it in casual conversation. Like, I tend to do it for comedic purposes, but that doesn't mean I do it in casual conversation unless I'm pissed about something. When did words get gendered? Why is it your first instinct to doubt women who have been sexually violated it should be everybody's first instinct to doubt someone who comes forward and say hey i've been sexually assaulted or hey i've been raped because guess what women cry wolf about it so we need empirical evidence evidence that proves what you're saying is factually accurate or is evidence suddenly a concept co concocted by the patriarchy? Or rape? Why do you assume a woman's angry because she's on her Because period? nine times out of ten, that's the case. Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? We can say the same thing about your dick Actually, no, you cannot. By putting makeup on your face, you're enhancing your appearance. You're hiding away those imperfections with makeup. You cannot put eyeliner on a dick and make the bulge bigger. The only way that can happen is like someone puts, like some, someone contours it like with some like foam or shit like that to make the bulge look bigger. Why is it weird 
Why isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? Straw man! Straw man! No. Those people in positions of power have more important things to worry about. Like, I don't know, running this country? Do you have a coochie? Why are straight guys so obsessed with lesbians? White guys. The inevitable racism. And as for, um... I think that it's actually women. Because if you look at Pornhub or anything like that, it's mostly viewed by women. Besides, two of the things are like together. Like, I don't know, why wouldn't people like that? It's like, um, not just one soda, but I like two sodas. How does it feel to get kicked in the balls? Do you ever That's the only legitimate question. That shit hurts. Never get tired of trying to be manly all the time. Says the girl who looks masculine. I mean, just look at her outfit. The irony meter is off the charts. Why are you so afraid of gender equality? Why aren't we afraid of gender equality? You mean to say. Because what you're pushing for and you've proven this like many times. It's supremacy. And you are just a bunch of man haters. Don't believe me? Just look up the cash that kill all men. Yes, all women. The fact that you at one point came out against the hashtag not all men. I keep going. Why do I deserve to be paid less than you? In what world does 77 cents equal a dollar? Canada. Because of currency conversion. And going back to the, um... Why do I deserve to be paid less than you? I'm sorry, but that's the consequence of free choice. You decided to waste away your life to the genders and women's studies. Where you could have been studying... STEM fields. You could have joined a STEM field if you had gained the qualifications to do so. Nothing is stopping you from making that choice. Equal opportunity. In what world does 68 cents equal a dollar? 68 cents! Oh, let's use a different statistic. Yeah, let's just throw around the wage gap. And have different fucking results every time. And you wonder why we can't take the rage cab lie serious? I've heard 79 cents. I've heard 77. You say 68. I also heard 69 cents on the dollar. I've heard 76. The statistics are just rampant. Random. And you wonder why we can't take that serious? It's a fucking joke at the end of the day. How is that fair? Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? That's awesome! More money! I'm inclined to disagree here, actually. I would be intimidated by someone who makes more money, period. And I say person. I'm not saying men or not saying specifically women, but people. Money, in a nutshell, is the root of all evil. Like, the, what I've noticed, and feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but what I've noticed, the more money you bank, the more selfish you are. Like, you tend to be a bigger jerk to people. Because, apparently, money brings power. The power to bully. That's what I've noticed, anyway. Again, feel free, to, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? When opinionated men are seen as bosses. Opinionated men, stop mansplaining! No. 
opinionated men are constantly talked down to, they're constantly cut down, they're constantly silenced, and kicked out of places because they dare to disagree with the social justice bigots. Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? Okay, as for the jokes thing, who gives a flying fuck if a joke is offensive? Jokes are meant to be offensive. This is just something I fucking hate. You, you or anybody else, and this goes to everybody, if you think that we can tell jokes just because they're offensive, then it might hurt people's feelings. You can go fuck yourself because you are demanding we self-censor. And if there's anything that pisses me off is advocating self-censorship and demanding that people silence jokes just because they're offensive to some people. Why are you so afraid of recognizing your own privilege? Doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just recognize it and do something about it. Yeah. I'm definitely noticing a trend here with these people. Feminism is pretty much a cult. A religion, if you will. Checking your privilege is the equivalency of confessing your sin. What? Like, do we have to say um, 20 Hail Anitas after after um, checking my quote-unquote privilege? Yeah. And if you noticed, um, another thing is that here, like I said, I have to be able to be kicking the balls is like the only legitimate question. The rest of it is just to push a feminist agenda. Well, that's that's it. To all feminists out there, you can go fuck yourself. Hashtag feminism not needed.